this video, we're going to talk about the idea of Cushing's syndrome versus Cushing's disease. And the idea behind the dexamethasone suppression test. So fundamental, fundamentally, we, we have to understand that from the hypothalamus, from the hypothalamus, we get corticotrophin releasing hormone that acts on the anterior pituitary, and that in further produces adrenocorticotrophic hormone where from the adrenal cortex we get cortisol right so de the dexamethasone suppression test you have a low dose so you have a low dose which is about one milligram so dexamethasone is a synthetic glucocorticoid so it is very similar in nature to cortisol so it's about one milligram for the low dose test and what you're really testing for with the low dose is Cushing's syndrome so what happens is that when I give a synthetic glucocorticoid like dexamethasone one milligram it should simulate cortisol to go ahead to the anterior pituitary and the hypothalamus to negative feedback right so as a result I should have my CRH should decrease eventually from the anterior pituitary I should have a decrease in ACTH and as a result eventually my cortisol level should decrease. So in a normal patient, when I give a low dose of one milligram dexamethasone, the, the cortisol levels should decrease. Now, let's say you have cushion syndrome and then there's something from the adrenal cortex that's causing the problem, right? So this loads amount of cortisol what would happen? What do you expect to happen in the dexamethasone suppression low dose one milligram test? Well, because your body is so used to producing this large amount of cortisol, one milligram, which is very small, it's not enough to cause a negative feedback effect on your hypothalamus as well as your anterior pituitary to produce uh, uh, lower amounts of ACTH that eventually would decrease the cortisol levels. It's just not enough. And so as a result, with the low dose uh, dexamethasone suppression test of one milligram, a positive test for Cushing's syndrome, right? A positive test of Cushing's syndrome would be an increase in cortisol levels. So the cortisol levels will not decrease. So it's just not enough to decrease the cortisol levels. So low dose dexamethasone suppression test cortisol levels are still high right so high cortisol levels or cortisol levels in low dose is a positive test now let's talk about another scenario where uh there could be a pituitary adenoma and this is when we talk about the high dose, eight milligrams, right? So if you give a high dose, eight milligrams of pituitary adenoma, so again, it's usually given at night around 11 p.m. And then the patient comes in the morning at 8 a.m. to get the levels measured. So let's say you give this patient a high dose of eight milligram dexamethasone. So he's going to send uh, mimic cortisol, again, go up to the anterior pituitary and the hypothalamus and it's going to decrease your crh decrease secretion from the anterior pituitary and as a result your acth is going to decrease and your cortisol is going to decrease so with cushion's disease right so with cushion's disease it's usually a pituitary adenoma so right so pituitary right dexamethasone this eight milligram it's so strong and so high that even though there's a pituitary adenoma it's still enough to decrease your ACTH release and as a result the cortisol levels will decrease right so that is a response for Cushing's disease with the eight milligram dexamethasone um, with the eight milligram dexamethasone suppression test so let's look at another scenario where you might have an adrenal adenoma, right, from the adrenal cortex. And what 
the response would be from the 8 milligram dexamethasone suppression test. Right, so I'm going to give 8 milligrams of dexamethasone. Again, it's going to travel up to the anterior pituitary and the hypothalamus. As a result, from the negative feedback, I should get decreased CRH and decreased AC. So my ACTH should decrease as well. But because the pituitary, uh, because the adenoma is right here, the 8 milligram dexamethasone will have no effect on the adrenal cortex. And so as a result, the cortisol levels will still remain high. So with, resp with responding to an 8 milligram dexamethasone suppression test for, in fact, Cushing syndrome, the cortisol levels are going to are going to remain high, right? But you're going to have low ACTH, right? When we talk about Cushing's disease of pituitary adenoma, like we said earlier, the dexamethasone is enough to suppress the release of ACTH from the anterior pituitary, even though there's an adenoma there. And that's the basis behind the dexamethasone suppression test.